So, looks like we've got a match on our hands. People readying up. We got Witness Gaming versus Global Clan Ice here on Koth Bagel. Global Clan Ice, the team currently in second place. They've beaten every other team except for Oyotech. So they are probably coming into this as the favorites. On the other side, we've got Witness Gaming with a bit of a shakeup in their roster tonight. We're looking at uh, Sandblast in. He's the newest recruit on Combo Scout in place of Rio, who departed the team. And then they've also got um, Jay, who looks like he's going to be playing Pocket. I'm curious, where's Ether? And where's... Um, yeah, where's Ether? Where's uh, Exile? Exile's online, but he's not in the server. Ether online, but not in the server? Was there another massive roster change? What happened? Not sure. Maybe there's some uh, scheduling concerns. I would say Witness Gaming, you know, they're, uh, they're still fighting for playoffs. They really should be trying to face every match at full force with their whole roster. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually Phelps ringing. I'm going to check real quick if that's him. Hopefully they don't start instantly. They probably will. Um, yeah, that is. That's Phelps. So they have Phelps in instead of Exile. And we're starting. So the match is live. Predictions were uh, made by people in the chat. I'm going to predict Global Clan Ice wins this. I'm going to give it to them 4-1. to 4-1. to one. Hopefully you guys uh, made your predictions. Starting off, we've got uh, some relatively passive positioning, but Alex... Alex going forward completely in deep. Meanwhile, Laz also bombing behind. He's going to die. So first death, actually two deaths, two casualties on the side of Global Can Ice. I can't see the cap at the bottom. Where's my, uh, where's my HUD? Where's my HUD? I've got no HUD. Oh, I need to relaunch the game. I'll try and do it at a halftime. Um... So, actually, the first cap going for Witness Gaming. Ubers are even on both sides. We've got Sandblast here trying to delay the cap. Just dancing on the point. This point caps very fast. So you're going to see a lot of people fighting around this point. Just trying to edge that cap as much as they can. But Witness Gaming doing a good job of burning down this clock. Laz up there catching an arrow. We got Brand Slam trying to edge the cap. And the Uber Exchange is coming forward. Actually, uh, Global Clan Ice popping considerably later. But Sandbus finds two kills during that. And he's actually wasting a lot of this Uber's time by uh, getting both the soldiers and going behind. So Sandblast potentially looking for a flank now. Coming up the drop pad or the jump pad. He is still behind. Going to get sandwiched now by Ash on the spawn. He's going to go down. Sandblast dying there a bit late. But, uh, oh my god. My freezing. Licks me out. That's going to be uh, two two picks in favor of Global Clan Ice and that the freezing is happening. It's very inconvenient when you're uh, trying to spectate. Um, they're trying to bust out of this forward hold. Good damage coming out from Logan. He's going to force people back and then freezing again. Freezing again. Edging the cap now off that damage. They push Global Clan Ice far enough back. A flank attempt coming in. We got Phelps and uh, Soapy pushing over there. A trade on the other side between the soldiers. Now Alex doing what he does, going forward, putting down a lot of damage, taking some himself. They're focusing down Logan. Pretty good health on the side of Global Clan Ice at the moment, but they are going to concede the point. So Witness Gaming making this close. The Uber comes through. 404 ready with his. Sandblast missing a little bit. 404 honestly could have milked that just a little bit more. Sandblast now trying to go behind once again, pulling in towards Jay. Jay's going to bomb in. Good damage out of 4 for He's going to hit the rocks that he needs. Now, they just need to um, all group up behind their medic. We're going to see Laz trying to salvage this. He actually misses both rockets, and it's a full white for Global Clan Ice. Toy surviving. Staying alive there with the, uh, the rest of his team. Now they can set up this forward hold. They're down a soldier, so the pressure on the choke isn't going to be as much. Potentially, Global Clan Ice will try to push out off this. Alex uh, doing exactly that. Good damage, and now here comes Brand Slam. They almost kill Soapy. Will Soapy survive? He is going to die. Nice sticky snipe from Alex. And now Logan is getting pressured back really far. Global Clan Ice getting a lot of room here, but here comes Phelps going behind, trying to buy some time. He might actually find Laz over here. He's going straight for 404, but he gets denied real quick. 
But good time from Witness Gaming. They keep burning the clock really well here. They should still have a slight Uber ad. Um, it is probably negligible at this point. So we've been seeing them fairly confident to just take this Uber straight in. We're going to see what Sandblast can do this time. As he calls for this Uber, actually he's just going to edge the cap until they contest him. The Uber actually is popped first from Global Clan Ice. So that means Sandblast might be able to find some targets here. The Logan does die in the middle of that. He's going to look for flank kills. Oh, misses a little bit onto Yite there. Going to be retreating now. They don't quite want to cap because they are down their demo. He has spawn now. So they're just going to... Wow, Global Clan Ice trying to all in. They're getting a little bit punished for it. The spawns are going to be better for uh, Witness Gaming right now. Logan getting separated there from his medic. And now Soapy just trying to live. They just need to play the clock because their spawners are going to be coming in once again much faster here. Three people still down from Global Clan Ice. So if Witness Gaming just gets their people here together, gets some positioning, they should be able to get this cap. There it is. It goes through quick. The clock's still in their favor and the Uber's still even. So um, actually slight add on 404. Slight add. It's about 30% add, it looks like. So that is, that is usable, especially when they're playing this close trying to contest this cap. You notice how it just trades hands so often. 404 has the Uber ready. Is he going to go for this? Catches a pipe! Soapy! Pressuring from the side. 404 feeling a lot of pressure right now. Witness Gaming now has their Uber. The time is dead even. And the Ubers are even as well. But Laz is dead, which means Jay finds the flank and gets... He gets the force, but they kind of just kill him and pop. Though, instead of risking losing anyone, they just pop it right away. Nice flank there from Logan around the side. Gets a lot of damage onto 404, onto Alex, and onto, um, I think, Brand Slam. Now Laz just trying to salvage. He is going to kill Logan. Might kill another scout. Doing good damage to these scouts, and he's still alive. Okay, he finally dies. Those soldiers almost made a miracle happen there. Witness Gaming, though, holding on to the point. We've got 30 seconds on the clock. 404 did die, which means Toy has the Uber advantage. Uh, he only has about 10% Uber out, actually. So I guess they broke the beam quite a lot there. And now Alex goes down. They really don't want to deny Alex's spawn here on Global Clan Ice, but they're going to. They deny Alex's spawn. This is a crucial mistake, potentially, which means it's going to be a lot easier for Witness Gaming to retake this point with no stickies to worry about. Ubers are about to be even. The ideal situation, Witness Gaming will cap this before the Ubers are ready. They're getting a lot of cap time. They do get the cap. That means that all they have to do is just stand their ground, go for the exchange, bait Global Clan Ice into them, or Sandblast taking the initiative. He's going to go forward. They bomb, and they drop Jay, but Yike goes down. A scout for a soldier on Koth. It's often a favorable trade there. Sandblast now just trying to survive. The collapse is going to come in onto the point. Lots of damage here onto Laz. He's so weak. Now it's going to be all about these demo men killing everyone on the point. The cap goes through again. They deny Ash this time. Global Clan Ice being a bit risky with these caps. And it, it's actually going to come back to bite them. Because now they're down in numbers. Three versus five. Witness Gaming getting on the point. They can just cap. And they'll get it. The first round goes to Witness Gaming. And a 0-0 round. They've got no time on the clock. Overtime. But what it really came down to. Global Clan Ice denying a couple of their spawners at some of the most crucial moments. They deny their demo, then they deny their soldiers. And when they need those numbers to fight for the point, it's just not going to happen. Witness Gaming taking the first round in a surprising and, you know, in a impressive fashion. This mid, though, we're going to see Global Clan Ice looking a bit more uh, poised here to get some ground on the point. Sandblast challenging Alex. Stickies are dead. Yite is very weak. They're starting to lose their ground. Both scouts weak. Look at Brand Slam. Oh, Jay really wanted to get that chase. Soapy, though, did a really good job finding that kill. And the cap goes to Witness Gaming first. Witness Gaming, maybe this is their map, their home map. They had a weapon up their sleeve in the form of a bagel. Who would have thought? Sandblast just tanking damage here on the point. Yite trying to get a lot of cap time. They, they get the pick on Laz, so the, the numbers are in their favor during this exchange. They do get the exchange off Sandblast, causing a bunch of flashes. Now Global Clan Ice have to think about how they're going to retake this. They already had some cap time to work with. They're trying to cap it once again, but the commit comes in from Jay. They all turn around. Sophie commits as well. Alex goes down, but I think that's all they're going to get. They might kill Laz. Three for uh, two for three. 
but 45 seconds off the clock. What? These scouts are insane. Oh, if only uh, Phelps would have been on the chase there, he actually could have killed Ash. So Sandblast and Phelps still holding on to this point. They're still burning the clock. They just salvage it hero mode. No scouts quite in position yet for Global Clan Ice, but they don't care. They're going to go ahead and blast down Phelps. They're going to cap the point. They're going to blast down Jay. They're going on a complete killing spree, killing everyone in their path. This is what you expect from Global Clan Ice to just plow forward, kill everyone who's overextended, and just play incredibly confident. They don't want to let Witness Gaming uh, think that this is going to be an easy match. So they're going to they're gonna move forward here. They got the forward hold. They got full uber ready. Toy is only at 20%, so we're going to see a sack wave attempt to try to get this force. 404 gets force. Jake finds his man, as he tends to do. He's still in behind them with 2 HP. He has been spotted, but... He kills 404 with 2 HP! How? How does he do it? They just forgot about him. And now Alex is desperately trying to run away with 20 health. Global Clan Ice on the all-in, but they're going to find so much damage on the toy. The melee! This is just absolute chaos happening. <laughs> that jump pad turning into a factor in that fight. Uh, they are going to get toy, but the spawns are going to be still faster. For witness gaming because they don't have the point they're gonna go ahead and get their spawners they're gonna cap this point back thankfully they already had a minute off the clock so this is still an even round more or less ubers are dead even at the moment and global clan ice putting all their players through this concrete side soapy watching it passively global clan ice taking the point looks like they want to push this flank what's gonna happen soapy commits gets air shot ash takes him down Ash very weak. He's retreating. No follow-up. So, Global Clan going to get that pick and not need to exp uh, spend much for it. Now trying to fight over the point. Sandblast does a really good job denying Brand Slam's um, point pressure here. Now Ash looking for that flank. He knows he already killed that soldier, so he won't quite be in position to watch this. But the Uber comes forward, and 404 died with 99%, and Toy Sneaky there picks up the Medigun. That's going to give an 80% advantage. I cannot believe that. They got that that kill. It was moments away from being a force from Ash, but they just go forward. I I, I think that their intention was to just go for the exchange, but 4-4 didn't quite get it. And so 5% add ends up winning it for them. Here comes the, the, uh, the pop coming forward. They probably didn't expect that Uber to be ready because of that... that uh, Sneaky pickup of the minigun. Now it's just salvage attempts. Toy Slippery surfs that meat shot away. And we've got a massive, massive time advantage now for Witness Gaming. And the pressure is on for Global Clan Ice. They are currently... You know, they, they're currently down one round and 20 seconds away from going down two. They have to desperately force their way in here and start getting some cap time or get some kills. But it's not happening. They just get destroyed in the choke. They lose their scout and their demo. Some of the most crucial classes you want. And Sandblast slips behind. Kills 404. And this round is looking like another Witness Gaming round. Are they going up 2-0 over Global Clan Ice? Yite getting some cap time. The bomb is good. They, they do kill Logan off of it. But th the health is just not there. And Witness Gaming are going to take the second, the second round, I think. Oh, nice rockets from Ash. He needed to kill that scout. That would have been their only hope to stay in this. The Uber's ready. This is this is what keeps happening. The Ubers just come out from Witness Gaming and they just they just find three, four kills every time. And it's just cleanup duty now. Yite can't do it. 2-0 for Witness Gaming going into the half. All right, I'm going to restart my game real quick so that I can um, hopefully fix my HUD. And yes, this game is far from over. Global Clan Ice are one of the top teams in the division. Um, and in the second half, they may just have, you know, an adjustment or, you know, they may just uh, outlast their opponents. Witness Gaming looking hot right now, but they say that uh, the candle that burns twice as bright burns half as long so let's hope that the half is a uh, is not you know here at the halftime but um 
they got to keep it up. They can't get a, a carried away, you know? They really got to stay focused. They really got to, um, you know, keep doing what they're doing. It's really those Ubers into the enemy team that are, that are making the difference. Trying to get back into the server real quick. Hopefully with a HUD so I can see all the players' health and the cap time. But I managed to do just okay. All right, we got someone in the chat that thinks that I don't know that HUD reload scheme is a command. Who thinks that I didn't try that already. Imagine that. You can, you can go think about that for the rest of eternity. All right. So in the halftime, Global Clan Ice, now they need to figure out, you know, what are they gonna do? How are they gonna change this up? Maybe what it's gonna take is instead of worrying so much about fighting on the point, I think that what Global Clan Ice actually should do is focus more on creating a bit more chaos and pressure on the flanks. I think that that is what's lacking right now. Because normally Global Clan Ice, both their soldiers tend to be very good at pushing the flanks, going behind. Yite, you know, is a strong DMer. When they get those chaos moments, that's when they thrive. And I feel like right now, they're playing Bagel as if it was clear-cut, if that makes sense. In our match against them on clear-cut, it was a spam war. That's all it was. It was all just spam, spam, spam. But Bagel, I think it's a bit different. Because you have more avenues on the flanks to potentially get behind. And you have more health packs that you can push for. You know, so if Global Clan Ice can maybe push the flanks more, they might have a better chance here. But into the second half, Witness Gaming up 2-0. Looking to make it um, the upset win that will potentially put them into playoffs. Guaranteed. Because no other team has a win over Global Clan Ice. So that could be a big difference maker in their playoff hopes. Alright, so the mid starting out now. We've got a little bit of spam going out from Soapy. He's going to rotate to watch the flank. Everyone else just kind of chilling back. Everyone's playing extremely passive. Sandblast, though, starting to edge the cap, along with Phelps. Now here comes the push forward from Alex. He's just not quite finding the damage that you normally expect from him. The point goes to Witness Gaming once again, early on the on the round. But Sandblast is down. Sandblast has been instrumental in keeping this point pressure up, and he is going to die. Logan not quite connecting those pipes, despite a lot of Global Clan being all grouped up. We got Laz dying, and then we got Ash dying. So maybe they are doing a bit of that going behind stuff, but the timing of it is not quite what they might have wanted. They are going to go down. Not going to get much out of that. The cap is going to go to Witness Gaming. And now with both soldiers dead, will Witness Gaming try to go for that opening? Their spam is just pummeling Global Clan Ice here. They're going to lose one scout to it. They are going to lose a scout on the side of Witness Gaming. So one for one, 17 seconds spawn time though on, on Phelps. So that's going to hurt. But if all they have to do is burn the clock. Oh, Sandblast gets launched to the moon from that Uber out of Yite. Just going to be the Uber exchange. Trying to punish Yite. Jay is going to commit. Looking for that kill. It's not going to quite happen. But Logan's just out on his own. The rest of Global Clan Ice don't quite realize it. Alex finishes him off though with that pipe. Now Global Clan Ice, six up. They're going to be looking to forward hold once again. 30 second time advantage. Witness Gaming do have uh, even Ubers. So they're going to need to find a way to break out of this. They're taking over lobby, not hesitating. Jay instantly jumps through. One rocket onto 404. Forces the heals back. Three people go down. They do kill Ash. At the end of the day, that kill for Ash is worth it because it's going to break the forward hold. But it's a five man sack and Yite realizes it. He notices Toy is isolated and chases into spawn, getting that med pick. So now Global Clan Ice are going to be burning even more time off the clock here. They're going to have their full Uber ready. Six up once again in the forward hold position. Witness Gaming now just looking for a force or again another pick. Jay goes in first. A little bit of damage out from both soldiers, but uh, not quite finding any kills just yet. And Global Clan Ice don't want to chase this. They don't want to overextend. They just want to secure this hold. They're okay with uh, Witness Gaming retreating and trying again. Because at the end of the day, all they need is to burn the clock. 
Freezing a little bit here. Sorry for the wonky camera work. Laz in that main area. Potentially caught out, but Phelps unaware. Gonna, or Sandblast, sorry. But Logan bails him out. Nice sticky placement. He's going to get that demo or that soldier pick. Jay now dying. I think Jay is dying a little bit too much. A little too fast at the moment. I think if Jay would just slow down, that would help his team quite a bit. Uber is ready. A minute has already been um, earned from Global Clan Ice. The Uber is popped. 4-4 four four is going to be milking this a little bit. He's got a 50% Uber advantage. They do cap in the midst of that exchange. That is going to be good for them. Sandblast, though, does die. Global Clan Ice just going to instantly recap this. And now the punishment, Ash, is he out of ammo? He dies. So Laz also caught out, catches that pipe. Global Clan losing three, four people. Potentially, no, it's just going to be three. Got to be careful not to deny their scout here. They are not going to, so... Witness Gaming found a way back in. They're going to need to burn a good amount of time here, because if they continue to just trade the point, Global Clan Ice will have this one. And all this has been off the back of that big chase off of uh, from Yite to get that med pick. Bought them a whole minute, basically. And now... Uber's almost ready. This is where Witness Gaming has been the most comfortable and the most effective. It's when Sandblast has basically even Uber and he can just go forward. He's just trying to deny the cap, waiting for that perfect moment when he can go into the enemy team. 404 this time. Careful to make sure to get the Uber. Sandblast taking some damage. The Uber's going to come now. They pop forward. A little bit of damage. Oh, good damage onto Alex, actually. The forces out and the flashes are happening. The point very close for Global Clan Ice. Sandblast finding an opening to go behind. Laz out of ammo. Sandblast not quite able to get that kill. Logan committing all in. Trying to get 4-4. It's not going to happen. They might kill Yites. They might not. Looks like everyone's going to die. So Global Clan Ice punishing. This is the Global Clan Ice that you expect to see. They punish. You make a mistake. You know, you overextend. They start getting one kill. They just... They need to turn on that confidence. That's what's going to give them... Um, the wins in these fights. Look at Jay again, just instantly in, instantly dead. Toy also dying. I'm guessing there must have been a sticky trap here from Alex. Okay, we're seeing Witness Gaming bust out the desperation, and they're actually finding the kills that they need to keep themselves in this round. Thankfully, they're not going to deny any of their spawns, but 404 is going to have Uber. This is a tricky, tricky map to defend the point while at an uber disad because the cap is so fast you really don't want to get anywhere near it when the enemy team has uber but you're gonna have to soapy coming in for the sink he gets the force early that is really important here wasting a good amount of time from that uber but witness gaming needs to collapse sandblast dancing around up top he's gonna go down jay doing some good damage but they're losing too many people they get some cap time but it's only 70 percent from toy He's buying enough time, though, for the spawners. The spawners are almost there. 90%. The spawners have arrived. Witness Gaming can get back into this round. Phelps surviving against four people. And he ubers forward and he kills 404. He's going to kill Alex as well with only 20 seconds on the clock. This could be the game-winning play for the, or the round-winning play. They're feasting. Global Clan Ice just absolutely crumbling here. 10 seconds on the clock. They're barely going to even make it to step on the point. They have no other play but to step on the point. Witness Gaming conceding the choke points. Actually, Soapy challenging the chokes. Jay in from behind. Sticky's on the ground. A Market Garden comes out. But Global Clan Ice is actually doing it. One Rocket Kill comes out. There's no way Happy Cool can do it again. Oh. Witness Gaming. They kind of throw that. They had two soldiers fighting the chokes and the rest of the team back. They can't afford to be split up like that. They either need to be all forward or all fighting the point. And that ends up costing them because at the end of the day, numbers is what's going to win that fight. Global Clan Ice find the picks and they get the numbers. No more miracles. Witness Gaiman wasted their miracle. Will it come back to cost? And they could be up 3-0 right now, but now... They're on the brink of being tied, two to one here. <clears throat> Into the next mid. Both scouts trying to fight for that point, but they just get spammed off so well. 
We've seen mids going the way of oh Logan with the stickies on the roof. Laz just jumps right into it. And Witness Game is just gonna take another mid. Global Clan are probably not weren't expecting to have to fight this hard for this. Especially considering the fact Witness Gaming is using, I think, two ringers right now. And playing better than they ever have. Happy Cool on that flank fight with Ash, forcing Ash out. Ooh, Logan goes down. Surprised to see Witness Gaming not going for the instant exchange as they normally do. Instead, they drop Logan. This time, though, it looks like uh, Global Clan Ice are probably going to be the initiators with this Uber. They're standing on the point. Oh, Jay goes in for the force. Does hit some rockets. Kind of missed one of them. They get the cap, but Toy wants to try and get out of this without Ubering. However, Laz is in the lobby and might go for this chase. No, he is not. So lots of back and forth action so far. A different decision, though, from Witness Gaming, curiously, to not Uber straight in. Are they starting to hesitate? Are they starting to have doubts? Have they run out of gas? Ooh, big sink rockets. Just blasting Sandblast. Jay finding a kill, living with 4 HP. Actually going to be favorable for Witness Gaming, as their spawns are considerably faster. As they approach up towards the point. A little bit of spam going on to Toy. But a lot of room on the point at the moment. Uber is popped, but 404 has been launched into the sky! And Brand Slam's just wondering, where's my Uber? He barely survives that. He's gonna run away. Soapy tries to chase, but he's getting punished. Ah, oh, the chase is just. It's not there. The whole team has to be on that chase. Otherwise, it's not worth it. This is what's punishing Witness Gaming right now. They keep trying to sort of half chase. Oh, is that Yite? No, that's Brand Slam. He beefs! He had the flank! Yite trying to salvage it! They try to go all in for Toy. Sandblast calling them bots. But little does he know that was just uh, a, a hair away from being a med pick that would have been crucial for Global Clan Ice. At the end of the day, they are going to get their spawn. They're still ahead in terms of cap time. Even Ubers, though. What Witness Gaming need right now is they need to... Uh, yeah, just kill these people that are overextended and just deny the cap, get their Uber. But yeah, looking for this flank. 1v1 on the flank happening. Make that a 2v1. Sandblast rotates over. Shots not being connected, though. Yite knows there's a distraction. He comes back in, but he dies. Yite has been unable to get these picks. He's unable to close at the moment. Witness Gaming doing a really good job of covering each other and just hitting their shots here under pressure with these scouts. And now the clock is just about equalized. Probably going to be seeing another one of those exchanges just to rattle up, you know, uh, the Witness Gaming defense. Shuffle the board a little, see what kind of openings they can get. But actually, they just they just grab the point. They just sneak it. And then they sneak it right back. But they get a kill in the meantime. There goes Laz getting behind, finding Soapy. But he is going to die. I like that from um, from Witness Gaming, though. They, they get the pick, and then they instantly Uber in. Uh... When potentially, you know, Global Clan Ice will be at at their most, uh, you know, rattled, you know. Just when that scout gets dropped. Logan desperately trying to survive. He actually lives, getting arrow tanked a little bit. Dead even on the clock right now. This could go either way. We've seen the point just get edged and capped. So, it doesn't tend to last very long if you have the point. There it goes. Straight back to Witness Gaming. I, I think Global Clan Ice needs to prevent that from happening. Oh, Sandblast just getting launched. Good damage going out in the meantime. Alex and the Scout getting piped on the point. Not quite any follow-up. Soldier's weak from Witness Gaming. Jay looking to get this uh, this arrow. The Uber comes out. They drop a bunch of people. 4 is going to pop. They drop the Scout and the demo. Logan has been doing a great job of just hitting his shots right around the point. And 404, I think, is uh, not expecting people to insta-gib like that. Jay comes in, gets the med. Witness Gaming looking so good right now to get this round. And they clean up Grand Slam. It looks like it's going to be an all-in attempt. Laz, does he go for it? He doesn't. He thinks better of it. He realizes that there's maybe just one more push before this round is over. Thankfully, there's good cap time. So that means that Global Clan could potentially get this cap without needing anyone to die. 
They do have to worry, though, that Toy has about a 25% Uber ad. And Witness Gaming has not been afraid to use it. There it is. Global Clan gets that cap. So now they just need to deny the cap time. That's a good shot right there. They're pressuring a little bit more forward now. Trying to make Witness Gaming work for this cap time. And you can see they're barely getting on the point now. Uber is ready, though. Toy drops the Uber! Alex with the pipe drops the med. They're going to get on this cap just in time. Losing both soldiers, though. A force needs to come out now. But it's not going to happen. Witness Gaming potentially throwing away another round here in the second half. To a, an Uber that was looking to be fantastic. They had a scout right in the face of the demo. But that, that pipe, it was as if it went around a corner. Toy's over here, and I think the demo's over here. It just... It just curves. It just curves around the corner. So now, desperate times. Witness Gaming. Soapy trying to get behind. He's going to get denied by Ash. Yite rotating over immediately. The Uber is popped on the point. Really good cap time. Witness Gaming could still cap this. The Uber's off now, but they're going to lose Logan. I don't think it's going to happen. The amount of damage that they would need to put out. Oh, imagine if that soldier capped it. <laughs> still some cap time. And spawners, but they need to touch the point to buy more time in this overtime. Jay's going to jump for it. He might get a kill. Nope. Oh, it's another 0-0 zero, zero round. We've seen three of them so far. This is going the distance. We've got a tie now, 2-2. Two to two. And this could be over. It could have been over with just a couple refinements from Witness Gaming. This would be a 4-0. But instead, it's 2-2 two, two because Global Clan Ice is punishing... Just these, these very small mistakes from Witness Gaming. Wow. Right now we see uh, Brand Slam outscoring his Medic. Despite being dropped a couple times, he's he's getting those caps on the point. He's getting those kills that he needs to on the Ubers. Laz uh, being more of a sacrifice at the moment. Meanwhile, uh, I think Logan and Sandblast are doing most of the work over on the other side. This is first of four, so we're halfway there. There's still potentially a grueling another couple rounds here. This this might start turning into a, an endurance test. Because with this much action, this much intensity, it, it can be a lot to handle. And yeah, that, that drop, those last two heartbreaking losses from Witness Gaming, those can get to your head. Those can be pretty demoralizing. Those can cause, you know, some team tensions, especially when you have players as passionate as Sandblast. You know, does he let it go? Does he brush it off? Does he move on? Does he keep his head in the game? Or does that seal the deal and he never recovers? You know? That is, uh, that is the question we have to ask ourselves. And that could be the deciding factor here. Hopefully they can just shake it off. So, we're going into another half, I suppose. We've got 150% of TF2 here for you tonight. Three halves. Currently 2-2. Two, two, a strong start from Witness Gaming, but then a strong comeback from Global Clan Ice. Will we go back and forth again? Will Witness Gaming now respond? Or will Global Clan Ice maintain their dominance that we've been seeing for the last... Well, to be honest, it hasn't really been dominance. It's just been them closing it out, you know, punishing the mistakes from Witness Gaming. They're kind of lucky to still be in this, I'll be honest. But uh, they're doing, you know, what they need to to at least, you know, capitalize on those situations. So, yeah, only time will tell. Hopefully we'll be getting started here momentarily. Have been seeing a little bit more of what I what I had mentioned with Ash starting to push the flanks a bit more. It's, I think it's been helping. But uh, I don't know. The way I see it, global uh, sorry, Witness Gaming actually are playing better overall. They're just making some uh, mistakes that are costing them. So if they can identify those and not repeat them then I actually think Witness Gaming has a good chance here. I predicted 4-1 for Global Clan Ice. So in my heart, I'm thinking Global Clan Ice are back. They woke up. 
and they're going to close this out. We shall see. As we begin the fifth round, two to two, Witness Gaming versus Global Clan Ice. Let's go. We're going to put the camera on to... Let's put it on Laz. He has been the first death a couple of these rounds. Let's see if he's going to change it up, what he's going to go for. Comes out through main, kind of missing some jumps. But uh, he's just going to be passively watching this roof, trying to spam a little into the flank. It's been a very spammy game. Gets dislodged off the roof, kind of forced back a bit. So let's see if anyone else is going to make something happen. Oh, Phelps jumps right into Alex's spam. Alex, yeah, this is this might be the difference though. Alex, when he's when he's activated on Koth, he's quite a powerful uh, demo man to deal with. However, Logan in his last breaths gets the kill onto 404. That med pick is going to allow Witness Gaming to have a full uber advantage. They're spawning up now, getting their their heals out, collecting themselves. They're going to be moving forward now. Alex hits that pipe once again, denies the scout. They're going to start this cap. Global Clan Ice hoping for a force here. They're pushing the flanks, but they get caught by Soapy. Soapy's going to find one. Now battling Yite. Yite surviving, going behind. The Uber was forced. Yite's still here. Oh, nice by Logan. Getting that kill. So Cap has gone in the favor of Witness Gaming. They popped that Uber, got the kills they wanted. 404 though, he retreated. He survived. So we got a leapfrog situation. Uber is momentarily going to be ready. The forward hold is sort of in place. Alex, though, not respecting it whatsoever. He's just going to walk through. Jay's going to bomb right into it. Kind of gets left out to dry. This has been a recurring theme also since that uh, second half started, is that Jay's a little bit out of sync. Logan, though, and Sandblast completely in sync. Going forward, finding Yite and Alex on the point. Getting the force, denying the cap. Ash is weak. Witness Gaming will kill Laz as well. Sandblast is just plowing through. And he's denying the cap as well. Not that Global Clan wanted to cap that. Sandblast finding another fight on the flank. He's just been deleting people left and right. There's Logan, and he's also doing what he does. I think Logan just keeps laying stickies behind the scouts. And then they just back into it. Now here comes Jay, looking for that bomb onto 404. 404 has already called this off. He's retreating. And Witness Gaming looking good. It was an all-in force attempt. They do manage to get the force. Good good play there. Both soldiers and the demo bomb in for that. That was a signature play from Global Clan Ice in their match against us on clear cut. Was that uh, good timing on those three-man sacks, four-man sacks, roll, all that stuff. Really? Yeah, 5-1. Oh. Well, playoffs are interesting. Witness yeah. Gaming 2-2 two to two with gold and ice. Mm-hmm. Wait, that's what you're watching right now? Oh! Yeah. Jay gets in, gets the oh force. God. Almost gets that, uh, that air shot. Logan also goes in. They do get that force. It's it's looking good, though. A minute off the clock. You Witness said it was Gaming. 2-2? Two two? Yeah. What? Witness Gaming won the first two rounds. They actually could have 4 0 them, but they threw two rounds. No way, dude. Yeah, they're playing well, and they're up one one minute at the moment. Okay. okay. Oh, but the flank comes in. Laz trying to make a hero play. Yite as well. They're both getting caught and punished. A bit too greedy, perhaps. Oh, but Ash. Ash follows up, gets both, uh, both soldiers. So Ash completely salvages that. Okay, peace. Ash goes down. Uh, it's a little bit of time, but eh, it's not going to be enough to get them in the lead here. Witness Gaming about to cross that one-minute threshold. That's really when the pressure gets on because that means you only have, you know, one or two pushes left until you can... Um... Oh, it got blurry. I don't know if I can fix it. I'll, I'll have to uh, look into that later. Um... Yeah, there's only a couple more attempts left and the Ubers are ready. Sandblast gets the Uber. No one getting dropped, except maybe Yite. Sandblast looking to take this tail end of this Uber and chase somebody. But nothing's really going to happen. We got a soldier trade happening on the flank. The cap's still not going through. Witness Gaming does such a good job of delaying this cap. Jay standing here on the side. He is going to get a scout pick, and he, that scout gets denied. So now Witness Gaming, all they have to do is chill. They just need to get out. Laz wants to try and catch this med. He's going to commit for it. 
Goes down the drop down. He gets the medic. Laz with the hero play. No hesitation. Alex 70 HP backing up. So that was potentially the savior play from Laz there. We've seen Witness Gaming throw these kinds of situations away when they're in the lead at the very last moment. They have it. They have the ability to cap this point though before 404's Uber's ready. He's at 85%, 90% now. The cap is very close. Logan Stickies are going out. Very dangerous. Uber is ready. 404 serves back. The cap goes through though. It's one for one. They're getting closer and closer to that overtime that we've seen three rounds now. The bomb comes in onto Logan. Will they get this punish? It looks like they will. Toy manages to get out. The force though. Soapy, I think, managed to secure that force. Witness Gaming, 70%. They'll have Uber ready, but Alex has a trap. Oh, this is a sneaky one. Sandblast, he finds the trap. Trap has been disarmed. The rest of the team can safely progress, except these pipes, and the spam is pretty powerful. Oh, Alex goes down to the Uber. How does Sandblast get there? 404's caught out. Sandblast just can't believe it. He doesn't even shoot for a second. 404 gets the health back. No one else is there to shoot him. Sandblast still on the other side. Toy, though, he goes down. It's it's just a Grand Slam and 404 here. Jay on the point. Just gets dealt with. They don't cap this. Okay, they deny the cap. They're waiting for... It's overtime. It's overtime. They're waiting for um, Witness Gaming to get here. But again, 75%. They can cap this before 404 gets Uber. They can get on the point. 85. Oh, the window is closing. 90%. 93. They can cap this. They cap it. They cap it. <laughs> it's 3 to 2. They could not hesitate there for even one second. They get the cap. Global Clan thinking they had time to get Uber. They don't stand on the point. It is now four to, or sorry, three to two. One round away from Witness Gaming getting this map. Good early pressure from uh, Phelps. He's gonna commit. Ash is down. Are we witnessing a crumble? Is Witness Gaming witnessing a crumble from Global Clan Ice? They just, they just easily force Global Clan Ice out of that mid. Brand Slam trying to kill Soapy. Soapy's going to survive. Alex walking forward now, trying to do what he can, but Logan denies that cap time once again. Laz goes down. Soapy's still healthy and pressuring the flank. They're rotating back to look for him. Ooh, nice kill from Yite there. Jay's going to bomb in, see what he can do, but ooh, the soldiers are getting a bit melted at the moment. But the Uber is ready. Sandblast is ready for this. The Uber comes out, they're dropping everybody, and 404 doesn't pop. They have to at least get this Yite kill. They get the Yite kill, his spawn gets delayed, and Sandblast is still fighting people in the post Uber. So now 404's got his Uber. They will probably be able to get their, um, <clears throat> yeah, get, get their Uber uh, to defend this. Actually, 404's just running away. He milks that despite Soapy being right on his tail. Witness Gaming gets good cap time. No force, though. They went for the sack. The time is going to equalize here. Uber's still ready for 404, but no Laz, no Alex. That means no stickies on the point, which means Sandblast. He's going to stand on it. You can be sure of that. Brand Slam's going Ubering in. Toy, nowhere to be seen. Logan jumping out. They're going to chase Logan down. He's going to die. Actually, not a great cap there from Phelps. He's going to cap from behind. Well, as I say that, 404 dies. Toy is in in the thick of it with Sandblast, his uh, trusty combo scout. Now that 404 has died, this situation isn't all that bad. I thought that maybe Phelps denying their demo was not going to be worth it, but the chaos factor ended up being worth it as it leads to them getting the med pick and holding on to this point for just a little bit longer. I cannot believe Sandblast dances on this point so much. Logan is just doing something that uh, Alex is, and I think it's that first sticky over the point that's really making the difference. That they're not seeing. <clears throat> Let's see how Logan approaches this. See these stickies over the point? These are the ones that I think are hitting those scouts. 
because they only see those one stickies being shot, but then it turns out there's like two or three stickies behind them. So some uh, some demo tips coming out from Logan. Uber basically dead even, 5% advantage. Uber's, look at Sandblast denying the point, even though it's a sliver away from being capped. They do such a good job at delaying this. And Sandblast just forces them back. He rotates over to the flank. They're trying to find Laz. They do get Laz. Ooh, Sandblast goes down. Will they just recap this? Or will Global Clan Ice commit? They are going to commit. Milking just a little bit. They flash a little bit more. So 404's Uber's just about dead even. Will they chase 404? No, they're going to let him run. He's out onto concrete. Ash tries to get in right as the Ubers fade onto Toy. Not going to get anything. That means a one, one player advantage now for Witness Gaming. Do they make anything happen off it? Sandblast poking a bit on the flank. Laz now getting on the roof. They're trying, to, they're trying to retake this, but the spam is good. The positioning is good. And there's Logan. You've got to worry about Logan. He's been doing incredible things here on this defense. He has stickies behind Alex, and there he goes! Logan has been just denying this point so hard. They get Alex, they get Ash, they're just gonna quickly recap this. Global Clan gets like three seconds off the clock. Completely negligible. 80% Uber, Laz in, behind Toy! Doesn't get it, okay. Oh, they're staggering deaths right now. The pressure is on. 30 seconds left, that means there's basically one more attempt from Global Clan Ice. This needs to be a slam dunk. If this takes too long, then there it goes. The, the door will close. The Uber is popped. Uber is exchanged. Sandblast getting the force out onto Alex. St standing his ground. Ubers have ended. Jay commits. Decent damage onto Yite. The cap goes through for uh, Witness Gaming. And they killed Ash. All they got to do now, slow it down. Play the heals. They've got numbers. Oh, Alex now returning the favor into Logan. Sticky's taking him out. Are they just going to cap this? Jay is in. Soapy is in. Jay flanking the medic. Oh, he hits the rocket on the wall. 4-4 is down with 10 seconds on the clock. Sandblast is ready to just play heels and feast. Who's he going to kill? He's going to kill Yite. Who else is he going to kill? He's going to kill Brand Slam. Who else is he going to kill? Global Clan can't run away. They have to fight this. One cap and it's over. The Uber comes in. Sandblast looking for who's caught near the point. They're going to find so many kills. The point just needs to be capped once. They do it. Witness Gaming takes it four to two. A huge upset win from Witness Gaming. Over Global Clan Ice taking down the second seed team and Witness Gaming, who were unsure if they were even going to make playoffs, have just secured a massive win. They could potentially put them as a shoe in for playoffs. Of course, it is with the help of Jay and Phelps. You'd think with Ringers they'd be weaker, but instead, that was some of the best playing we've seen from Witness Gaming. I'm sure they're going to be making some some uh, sizable offers to these players to keep them on the roster because that was a whole different kind of Witness Gaming. That was something else. Whoever bet for Witness Gaming, you're about to be a very, uh, a very wealthy Channel Points uh, receiver. Only 31% bet for Witness Gaming. Woo! That was certainly an upset. Against all odds, Witness Gaming have done it. <clears throat> so congratulations to Witness Gaming.